food, nutrients, and water are circulated through plants by the vascular tissues xylem and phloem. The xylem carries water and dissolved minerals up from the roots, as shown in this pink arrow pathway, and the phloem carries sugar produced by photosynthesis down from the leaves, as shown in this green arrow pathway. Don't get these two confused. It can be really easy to mix them up. But here's a trick to remember. Phloem transports food. Food as in sugar. Phloem, food. Let's take a closer look at both of these tissues. So we begin with the xylem, and as we've mentioned before, it's always on the inside of a vascular tissue bundle, whereas the phloem is on the outside. And again, it carries water and the dissolved nutrients up the plant. Despite moving against gravity, the water transport does not expend energy, which also means that xylem cells are dead and aren't doing the actual transporting. Rather, it's the channel these dead cells form that transports the water. So this is the channel, and this channel wall is made out of dead cells. So the water is just flowing through this channel, and it's a one-way only pathway. This is really important to remember that it doesn't expend energy. Instead, the water is pulled up through transpirational pull and cohesion tension. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the plant, as shown in this diagram here. And if you remember the properties of water, water molecules have strong cohesion with each other. In other words, they stick together well. So that means when the water molecules at the top of the plant are pulled through the leaves during transpiration, the other water molecules attached to them below will get pulled up as well. You can sort of think of this as like a magnet and paper clips. If you attach a magnet to one paper clip and then slowly pull it up above a pile of paper clips, the other paper clips will follow along in a chain. A third pressure is from the water being absorbed by the roots that also creates this upward force um, to push the water up through the stem. Together, these pushing and pulling pressures, along with the cohesion forces, draw water up the stems and veins of the plants without energy. Because all of this is passive transport, the flow of water is also affected by natural forces that affect the rate of transpiration. For example, high humidity would slow down transpiration and closed stomata would stop transpiration altogether. In contrast, low humidity or arid weather would speed up transpiration. Keep all this in mind. Now for the phloem. The phloem tissue, yet again we said, carries sugar produced by the photosynthetic leaves um, down the plant. Remember we said phloem food, food meaning sugar. Phloem transports sugar through a process called translocation. And unlike water circulation, translocation does expend energy. So the cells must be alive, and these sugar conducting cells can be arranged into tubes and perform active transport. So you can see in this diagram, this is a cell that's actively transporting sugar and um, water absorbed from the xylem to the rest of the plant. The sugar can then be stored within the roots. So brief summary, xylem transports water and dissolved minerals up the plant stem, phloem transports sugar down from the leaves, and xylem um, water transport does not expend energy, and phloem transport or sugar transport does.